Hello, how are you all? My name is Dee. I'm the owner of Renew Wellness Spa. I'm a master esthetician and I also have um, been practicing holistic um, therapies for many years now. And um, one of the therapies that I am going to um, incorporate in our newsletters with a video is uh, facial reflexology as well as ear seating. So <clears throat> I am talking about improving our memory and how we can improve our cerebral function, okay? Um, this protocol that we're gonna do today that I'm gonna explain helps to improve our memory, concentration, and attention, okay? You can do this protocol daily, and, and when you do it daily, you have longer effects. Um, you can do this protocol if you're about to take a test or you're gonna take on a big project. Um, it doesn't take much to do these um, protocols, okay? Um, so, and many of us, and the reason I'm doing this is because many of us, even to include myself, um, sometimes it's like, wait a minute, you walk out the room and you're like, why did I go up those stairs? Why did I go to my bedroom to get this? And then you have to go back down the stairs, retrace your, um, retrace your steps and like, why did I go upstairs, you know? Or you may have what I witnessed with my husband. He had that COVID brain and that was pretty scary. Me watching my husband who has a pretty sharp memory, um, just struggling to come up, connect words. And so, and that lasted for quite a couple of weeks with him. Um, not as long as other people have experienced, but it's happened. Um, just recalling um, information um, or trying to um, just put words together was really hard. So, um, and then also, in, you know, we have so many stressors in our lives. There's various things that impact our memory. Um, lack of sleep, menopause, um, insomnia, okay, stressors. Um, we're overworked. If you're a college student or you're working and going to college, you know, and improving yourself, all of that overload of information can really impact our brain, okay? And so um, <clears throat> I want to talk about reflexology of the face. It's um, derived from Dian Chen. And so it's very similar to hand and foot reflexology and ear seating as well, okay? There, all these points were identified and how, and they correlate to a organ or to a musculoskeletal um, part of our body. And it's about releasing these blockages, these energy channels that impact those areas so that way we can get back into balance. When we don't, when we have a blockage, it's like a water hose being twisted. You don't have good function or good signaling or you have no signaling. And that's when we start getting sick and having all these chronic issues. Ask me how I know. I know. I have a um, couple of um, autoimmune conditions. And so, and many of my clients know I suffer from a chronic cough. Um, from a misfiring nerve in my throat. So that what an odd um, condition to have. So <clears throat> when we do facial reflexology, we are working acupressure points on the face without needles, okay? And I'm not putting down acupuncturists because I do believe in all these holistic therapies. Um, I use this detector and I have another detector at the spa. We sell both of these detectors um, and I have a limited amount of these because now I'm just solely using the other detector. But um, if you want to do this and follow along at home, you can use the back of a stylus. And But I prefer using the detectors because our acupressure points are not big and so we don't want to overstimulate other points. There are two ways to doing facial reflexology. You can do a reflexology point or a reflex zone, okay? And so I combined the two um, just because this is how we were taught as well. I've learned two ways, all right? So let's talk about the points that we're going to work to help improve cerebral function, all right? Um, well, be let me backtrack. Before we talk about the points, I wanna share this. One, you wanna be grounded when you're doing this. And when I say that, plant your feet, um, have good music or soft music or no music in the background. You don't want to have the news media or a lot of overstimulating noise in the background. 
um, and make this about you. Make this about your wellness, okay? Um, you want to have a mirror in front of you. I don't have a mirror in front of me because I have the camera, and so I'm going to be able to watch, see where my points are, okay? And you want to be really deliberate to be present and open up this um, session with deep quality breaths. And when you take deep quality breaths, you want to inhale through your nose, exhale out your mouth, and you don't want to be rushed with it. So, you know, just take nice deep breath in. Slowly exhale. And really feel your lung filling up and really like visualize the breath leaving out of your body, okay? Um, we are very shallow breathers for the most part, and especially if you have a lot of stress in your life, this can be really, um, our breaths are impacted by this. We become shallow, um, very non-quality breathers, okay? Um, so those are things I want you to like prepare when you're gonna do these reflexology um, protocols, okay? So the first points we're gonna do, it's where your eyebrow arch is in the middle of your forehead. Everybody's forehead is different, okay? And this is point 124. We have two points of 124. 124 on the right side of the forehead, 124 on the left side of the forehead. On the right side of the forehead, this represents the gallbladder. And the gallbladder, when there's a dysfunction with your gallbladder, that actually causes mental fog plus other conditions, but I'm gonna focus on brain, okay? And then the left side correlates with your spleen because that's where the spleen is on the left side, okay? And this is a direct, the spleen has a direct pathway between the brain and the spleen, okay? And it also um, impacts the vagus nerve. And I talk about that in the newsletter about how the vagus nerves impacts us with our brain and our stressors and how we can improve our concentration, okay? So middle of the forehead, above the eyebrow arch, 124. The next point that, um, and when we stimulate this, um, it's going to improve our concentration, okay? Um, it also helps with indecisiveness. So I have notes here, you're gonna see me looking up and down because I wanna make sure I get all the key points out to you, okay? The next point that we're going to stimulate is point 103, right in the middle of our forehead, okay? parallel to points 124, okay? And this is called the mind point, also the pineal gland point. The pineal gland is about receiving information, brain, inf the information in our brain. Um, this also helps to improve our concentration as well as strengthen our mind, okay? The next point right below 103 is 106, okay? This is our third eye, okay? This is connecting the head to the body. This decreases decreases mental agitation and improves the nervous system, okay? Nervous system is about delivering all these different um, information, okay? So <clears throat> when we're stressed, when we're lacking um, energy, when we're... Um, when we have brain fog, we're, we, I always say, oh my gosh, my neurons are misfiring, okay? The next point, we have them on both sides. It's where the top of the ear meets right here. You come across, let me get this little hair out, okay? That's point 60, and we have it on both sides, okay? And point 60 is called the pericardium point, and this is about increasing blood flow. When we increase blood flow, couple of things happen. A, oxygen is delivered to our cells, which is important for cells to live. B, nourishments are delivered to the cells. The other thing is blood flow helps move lymphatic, okay? And lymphatic is what moves all the waste out of our body, out of our system to include toxins, a buildup of toxins, environmental toxins, medication toxins. That also impacts our memory and concentration, okay? So both sides, Point 60, the pericardium. The next point is point 34, okay? Right above, right here on both sides, okay? And that is about having a calming anti-stressing, um, sorry, calming and anti-stress points. This also stimulates the brain. And if you feel overstressed or you just need to like relax, you can just work 124 
both 124 and both 34 points together, okay? And then the next point that we're gonna be doing is point 26, bullseye, right half, okay? This is called the calming diuretic point. Um, this is brain irrigation, okay? Just like we irrigate our lawns, we irrigate our brain, and this is about nourishing the brain, okay? And then the next point is point 65, right at the root of the brow on both sides, okay? And so the purpose of this point is to be able to um, stimulate the brain, stimulate the um, um, nervous system so that way we can decrease the stress response from the sympathetic nervous system and also to increase concentration, okay? Who can't use more concentration, okay? <clears throat> and then the last point, so there are eight points, is the point zero. And the point zero is always used at the end of all protocols, so that way we can retain that formula and reset ourselves, okay? And that's right here, you know that little up protruding area called the turcus of the ear? Right in front, and we would go up and down with that, okay? So... <clears throat> Practice this and let me know how it helps you, okay? Um, we all can use a little improvement in our brain. And, you know, let's not forget that almighty letter A, aging impacts our brain function as well. All right, so <clears throat> get planted. Take your deep breaths. Have some good music. And you don't want to rush through this. We rush enough through life, okay? So this is about your wellness. This is about giving attention to your body, okay? All right, so point 124, okay? And we're also gonna do these points for about um, 15 circles, okay? And you'll feel some zinginess, you'll feel a little bit of lumps and bumps. If you find a little bit of a bump or you're having a hard time moving that um, point, just press and hold. You're not gonna be pressing and holding so hard. It's just a nice touch enough to move or um, actually unblock that pressure point, okay? The acupressure point. Okay, now we're gonna go to the other side again, arch, middle of the forehead. And it's not uncommon to feel zinginess, more zinginess on one side. I should do it with my other hand. More zinginess on one side versus the other. You can have blockages on one side versus not having a blockage on the other side, okay? All right, so I felt a little bit more zinginess on my right side. Yes, um, it could be multiple things um, that are, are going on in my body. And so um, I, make, I pay attention to that and make myself aware, okay? Now we're gonna go to point 103, excuse me, which is the mind point. Okay, the pineal gland about receiving information. The other thing you can do with this, you can do some taps, about 30 of them, when you need to just really concentrate, okay? So <clears throat> we're gonna do nice circles. I'm feeling tenderness right here. Um, not uncommon, because right now, I have some great things going on in my life. We are, many of my clients know that see me. Um, my husband and I are um, investing in a little beach bungalow house in South Carolina. So, you know, unfortunately, um, closing didn't go as planned, but such is life, okay? Now we're gonna go right to our third eye, all right? And then again, this is the connection from the head to the body, all right? Decrease mental agitation, improve our memory. And you're gonna do about 15 circles here. And again, if I feel any kind of lump or bump, I will press and hold to release that blockage, okay? It's all about opening that energy channel so it can do its magic and work correctly. All right, the next point that we're gonna be doing is the pericardium point. Okay, nice circles. Okay, this is about increasing blood flow. This is about just having a distribution effect. Good flow, good glow. Okay, other side.
And you know, although we're talking about brain function, this is also good for those um, who have visual impairments. All right. <clears throat> the next point that we're gonna do after point 60, that was point 60, we're gonna do the calming point, the anti-stress point right here. So funny enough, because in facial reflexology, um, each point has multiple effects, okay? It's not just only for brain fog or improving memory or stimulating the brain. Um, I'm actually dealing with a right rotator cuff discomfort right now. I somehow triggered it. Um, and so I'm very, I'm very sensitive right now over here. It makes a lot of sense <clears throat> that I'm feeling this sensitivity, okay? Then we're gonna do the next side right here, point 34 again. And I don't have the discomfort on this side. I don't have the zinginess, but I was definitely sensitive on that point. All right, so that was 34. <clears throat> we're gonna go to the next point, 26, our diuretic calming point. This is about irrigating that brain, nourishing that brain, okay? And you can see this really doesn't take long. I'm not rushing. And in the newsletter, the protocols will always have the points going from left to right. That's the order, that's the sequence of that protocol. So my goal is to do a holistic corner every month in our newsletter. So that way you can you do this at home and practice, the, practice these beautiful um, holistic therapies for yourself. Okay, and then the next point is point 65 at the root of the brow. Okay, all right, there's that blockage and sensitivity again. And um, um, it could be a combination of, you know, both the house not closing yesterday, but I really feel like I'm feeling actually an effect to this shoulder too. Okay, and, it, and, and, the, and that's why I'm guarding my hand the way I'm holding it. Okay. I'm actually just gonna press and hold because I really feel a block right there. Okay, this is also helps with decreasing stress, calming that sympathetic nervous system that many of us live in a sympathetic nervous state 80% of our day, which is very unhealthy. It's like constantly being chased by a wolf and or running on a treadmill nonstop for 80% of your day is just not healthy for our bodies, okay? And then the last point, our point zero, where we retain this formula, okay, right here. That feels so good. All right, so let me know what you think. Um, please um, put yourself first, okay? Care for yourself. Um, we, we really have so many stimuli coming at us at one time nowadays. Or even if you're just at home and you just wanna just improve your brain, brain function, whatever the reason is, um, Try this protocol and just remember, just doing it one time is not um, gonna give us the answer or alleviate that brain fog or that concentration concern, okay? So have a great one. Let me know again what you think about this and I will be seeing you soon. Take care.